I'm gonna talk like Hamza. What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're gonna be doing some YouTube gossip. Destiny. His wife cheated on him with a Swedish guy. That's a beta male. We're gonna hear from uh, this guy. He looks, he looks like a guy which is married. My guy, maybe you should get a girlfriend before you start talking about other people. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems that Mel time is officially over. Because I would probably figure out like the basic steps and I would figure out like how to do everything. All right, Even let's find out. I'd... No. <laughs> what? Wait, is Mel hot? I mean, she's a Swedish girl, but here in Sweden, she's like, a, I would say she's a five, honestly. She's not like, oh my God, that's a Swedish model. <laughs> Uh-oh. Mel time. Mel time. Mel time. It's 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 Mel time. Why is he saying it like that? Mel time. It's Mel time. Oh my god. Bro, why <laughs> why are you allowing your wife to dance with a black guy? This is easily one of the worst clips I've I've ever seen in my life. And honestly, yeah. it just makes me feel bad for Destiny because I feel like this girl, Melina, was like almost doing this intentionally to like make him look weak or emasculated yeah. on camera. But we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves. Who are we talking about today? So Destiny is like the most popular, <sighs> okay, maybe not the most popular, but one of the most popular political streamers in the world. He really okay. pioneered streaming on Twitch okay. uh, way back in the day in like 2013 when he was really starting out and he was doing League of Legends stuff. He starts transitioning to political stuff and he's really become the goat of online politics, I would say in my opinion. Hassan's a little more popular right now, I would say, than him, but he's probably not gonna... Bro, why do you have such a fucking gay shirt on, my guy? Like, ugh. Man up a little bit, bro. Oh my god. You gotta man up. You can't be looking like a, a little You can't be looking like an F word. You can't be looking like a, a little gnome. You're a gnome. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop have the longevity that I think someone like Destiny would have. And Hassan actually started from Destiny's community, as did people like Bosch and uh, Kefels and a lot Bruh. of people who do political Bruh, I'm sorry, but these people are losers. Dreaming. Like, they started from Destiny's whole, you know, little community portion of the internet. And he has a very strong community. But Destiny's not a normal guy, okay? Because his life is online, we know a lot about his relationships. And because he's not a normal guy as well, he's in an open relationship, actually, or he has been for a few years with okay. someone named Melina. Now, M Melina is Melini. like a Swedish model that he he met, I believe it's not, she was 19, listen, and she was like 30. Melina is not a Swedish model. Melina is just a <laughs> Swedish girl. She's not a model, okay? Or something like that. It was a few years ago. Uh, basically, they meet, they start dating, and uh, eventually they decided to get married. I think they got married one or two years ago. And the entire sort of concept of the marriage, though, is not traditional, right? Sure, they were together, but they live very independent lives. She's obviously from a different country, so she's not an American citizen right now. Okay, I just have to say, you're not married to somebody if that person can sleep with other dudes. She, Mel, was together with another guy in Sweden. This guy saw her, thought, oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. Oh, I want her. She leaves that other guy for destiny. This is the guy, this ex-boyfriend. He's sitting there and hearing how Destiny's banging his wife in the other room. And he's sitting on the, bruh. Look, he's wearing a cardigan and he's laughing, but it's actually pain and tears and sorrow. He knows his, he knows what's happening, right? He's in the presence of a blue alpha, the oh, worst. Close the door to the bedroom. Do you know, guys, I'm gonna sleep. When they say when some wait wait wait, they just went to the bedroom. I told you it gets dark. Just watch it again. It's trauma, and remember, thousands of people are telling him cocked. I didn't see the chat. But I know <laughs> they're doing this for a long time. They're wow. literally raping his psyche right now. Yeah. Remember, how you come in is how you're gonna go. Destiny did all this fickle shit to get this girl. He fucked this man over, and now he's getting fucked over. <laughs> oh God. Destiny is gonna fuck with you at the end of the day. No pun intended. I don't know if you know, but 
basically, you know, I was right. Mm. Uh, Myron was right. Nick was right. Leafy, rest in peace, Leafy was right. <laughs> what happened to uh, Leafy? The red pill. I mean, I... wait, wait, is Leafy? I understand why people clown on it. I understand why it's starting to get repetitive because a lot of that is innate. A lot of that should just be understood. But the red pill saves lives. When I visited Sweden last, he gave Mel an ultimatum to divorce oh me and then threaten to kill himself when he didn't do it. Bumbaka. Among 20 other abusive, manipulative things he's done and endlessly make excuses for him, so I'm out. Okay, keep in mind, these people are married. And Destiny's wife is fucking a dude who's saying oh. he's gonna kill himself if he doesn't divorce. <laughs> if, okay, man. Um, I think Where's Nico? Is, uh, didn't he fall off? <laughs> I don't I haven't even fucking seen. Um, here's Sushi. I have a, I have a top. <laughs> didn't Sneeko fall off, bro? He went to Rumble and he fucking did it better than any other person. Off, man. I fell off. <laughs> Shit. Your marriage fell off. Feeling Sneeko go to prison real soon. Really? Can Who the fuck is this dude? <laughs> Feeling Sneeko go to prison real soon. I'm gonna go to. Who was you? Really? Can we get a poll in chat? Do you think Sneeko will get arrested? Will he? Will he go to prison within the next 365 days? Wait, so chat. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I know it loves speech. I know. I know it loves speech. But. Am I allowed to fucking hate now? This uh, the what see. the fuck? What? <laughs> Yo, these Swedish faggots are literally <laughs> playing on my downfall. Whoa, Sneeko! Whoa, you gotta chill, my guy. You gotta chill. You can't. You can't attack Sweden like that. Watch me here now. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. This is so fun. Ah, Jesus. It's okay. With needles. Whoa, parkour! <laughs> Imagine you left your husband for this guy. <sighs> bruh, I, I can't even, bruh. Like, Destiny, bruh. Destiny, you have to. Go out swinging, my guy. Honestly, if you give me a call, <laughs> let's go out swinging, bro. Let's go out swinging. Destiny, I'm behind you, bro. No way, bro. I, listen, I know I've watched some of your content. I disagree with you, but Destiny, come to Sweden, bro. We, we have to go. We just have to swing on this guy, my guy. Bro. Abdul, get the rocks. <laughs> She's he, like this dude is sitting on her lap like a baby. This dude, it, it, it's like a trans. This dude is transgender. A stuffer-law. A stuffer-law. He was taking Destiny's money, eating. He got free rent and then ruined his marriage. And she's babying him. <laughs> you know what it is? It's funny though. I've, I've seen this dynamic before. You, when you get a girl that sleeps, I, I don't want to yeah. say whore because I know this girl. I mean, even though she was saying like, <laughs> when you get a promiscuous woman like Melina, she starts to cope with the fact that she can't get a traditionally masculine yeah, man. True. And so if she can't get that guy to settle down with her, she and she wants to she wants to raise children. You know what's happening to her right now? She's fertile. She, what, she's like 24, 25. Ooh. She wants children really badly. But the traditionally masculine guy is never gonna give her children. So she ends up she ends up in a relationship with somebody that she can mother. So basically, um, there are like two, there are two kind of like huge issues that I had um, relating to any time. Yeah. Of He's sleeping in your house, sleeping with your wife, eating your food. Those are three things, my God, not two. Said anytime if me and Melina separate, obviously everybody's going to have their reasons and their opinions and it plays into literally whatever narrative you want. Um, because a lot of people I argue with, their narratives can explain literally, whoops, every single thing in life.
you know, this is something which I've also done. I'm not just going to attack Pile on the guy just because, you know, he, he is the person that he is. I would say it's the way that you act. Being masculine is the way that you act. It has nothing to do with money. It has nothing. It's just the way that you act because the way that you act makes her feel a certain way. When she feels a certain way, you can control that. If you're controlling her feelings, you control everything.